Hey guys, Jamie at the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you something that I've been working on since 2020 and I am super excited to be sharing it with you today. Um, I still hand wash my dishes because we don't have a dishwasher in my house and I know a lot of people have a dishwasher but there will be things that you wash by hand and I am going to show you how to make a dishwashing paste. So what that is, is it is dish soap in solid form. Now I really wanted to formulate this to be suitable for all kinds of different waters and by that I mean is if you have hard water, this is going to be hard water tolerant and not everybody has the same water so I really wanted a formula that's going to work for most people and I wanted this to be very green. I wanted it to be very clean. I wanted it to be low waste. I wanted it to be biodegradable. I wanted it to be so many things. That's why it took me so long to formulate it. I did put the full recipe for this down in the description box below. I also put a link to my blog. So on the blog, there is a printable recipe. I also go a little bit more in depth about all of the ingredients. So if you want to know a little bit more, feel free to hop over to the blog post and I will explain it over there. So I spent a lot of time picking out the ingredients for this and I wanted to make sure that every one was like the perfect ingredient. For example, instead of adding a fragrance oil or an essential oil to this, I chose to add D-Limon. So D-Limon is a degreaser, it's really good at getting stuff clean and it's made from the rinds of citrus peels. So I really made sure that every ingredient in here was very multi-purpose. So we could have only a few ingredients, we could make it eco-friendly and we could make it the best dishwashing paste that I could. Without further ado, let's just dive and learn how to make this. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and pull out your kitchen scale. We're going to weigh out all of our ingredients. Now it's important to use our ingredients and measure them by weight, not by volume like cup or tablespoon or something like that, just to make sure that you get a really accurate measurement. For this dishwash paste, we have two surfactants. The first one is SCI. So SCI comes in either needle form like this that I have here, or it comes in powder form. Now powder form is gonna be a little bit easier to melt down than needle form, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the needle form because I don't feel like grinding this into a powder and I don't have any powder on hand, but either is fine, it's the same thing. This is a gentle anionic surfactant that's sulfite free. It is very gentle, but it's very good at cleansing. And this surfactant is naturally derived from coconuts and it is hard water tolerant. That's why we're using it in this dishwash paste. And the next surfactant that I'm gonna use is cocomidopropyl betaine. This is a liquid surfactant and it comes from renewable natural resources. What we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and take our liquid surfactant and we're gonna pop it in here with our SCI. Go ahead and grab yourself a saucepan with a little bit of water in it. I put a little bit of a silicone mat right on the bottom just so the glass container isn't kind of bouncing around in here or so it doesn't break. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop our surfactants in here and we're gonna heat this on the stove on a slow to medium heat. Now the reason why we need to heat this is we need to melt this down in order to create our paste. Like I said, the Needle form takes a little bit longer to melt down than powder form does, so be patient, it will melt down, it just takes a little bit of time. So I went ahead and pulled this off the double boiler. Sometimes there's a few little bits of surfactant that won't melt all the way, but that's completely fine. To this, I'm gonna go ahead and add my de limon. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix that in really well. Now, when you pull this off the double boiler, you're gonna wanna make sure that you wipe the sides really good with a washcloth or a paper towel or something just to make sure that you get all of the water off the edges. We don't wanna introduce any water into this product. And there is our dish paste. Now this is gonna thicken up more than what it is here once it cools down. Go ahead and grab the container that you're gonna be placing it in. Now, I like to use glass containers because they're reusable and that creates zero waste with this dish paste. And I really push down kind of when I'm putting it in there just to get as much in as I can. And then I'm just gonna clean off the top a bit there and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill up one more. 
and there is your fully completed dish paste. Now, I like to leave these set without the tops on until they're completely cooled down because we don't want to get any condensation in the lid. So like I said, it doesn't take very long for these to cool down and they're going to thicken up a little bit more than what they are here. And for the first time ever in my entire life, I've been humming down dishes. <laughs> so when I was testing this and I was, I like I got this formula figured out. I'm doing all of the dishes just to see how it does on this type of dish and to see how it works on that type of dish. And I am super excited to show you how it works. Now, when I use my dish paste, I like to use it with a loofah sponge. So a loofah sponge is actually from a gourd and it is completely natural. When it's dry, it's super solid, but when you get it wet, it's just like a sponge and it has a little bit of a scrubby to it, but it's not like it's gonna scratch your dishes or anything like that. So to use this solid dishwashing paste, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your loofah sponge, you're gonna put it in there and you're gonna put a little bit of the paste on your sponge and you really don't even need as much as I put on here. Um, and then you're just gonna grab your dishes. And then what you're gonna do is just take your loofah and go ahead and wash your dishes like normal. As you can see, this does create quite a bit of bubbles just like a regular dish soap would. Um, the only difference is this one is in solid form, which I'm in love with because we can use the glass jar. I don't have to um, be throwing away the plastic containers. And it's, I kind of like to think about it like a solid shampoo bar. It's just dish soap in solid form. Same thing like a solid shampoo bar is shampoo in solid form. And then when you're all done washing your dishes, what you're going to do is go ahead and rinse out your loofah. You are just going to rinse out all of the bubbles out of there. Once you have it all the way rinsed out, you just go ahead, wring it out, and then set it somewhere to dry.